everyone, I hope you're all well and that you had a lovely week and that you also enjoyed watching all the birds flock to our milk bottle bird feeders that we made in my last video. Now for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you will know that you can feature on my page if you print out that I've joined the Green Planet Kids team sign and take a photo of you with it. However, so that we don't waste any paper for this week's activity, I'm going to show you how to turn that sign into a piece of origami. There are so many amazing things that you can make with paper. However, today I thought that we should have a go at making these really cool origami envelopes. But do not worry if you don't have the Green Planet Kids sign, you can use any A4 piece of paper that you have around the house just like this one that I've got here. I always think it's nice to use a colored bit of paper. But again, if you only have a plain piece of paper, that is absolutely fine because we can make up for it in our design. Anyway, enough of me talking. I think we should get on with the activity. I'm gonna film it this way so it's nice and easy for you guys to see what I'm doing. So first things first, we are gonna get our piece of paper and we are simply gonna fold it like this making sure it's exactly the same size on both sides. There we go. And once you've matched both ends up, fold it here and just make your crease. So open it up again. Here we go. And then we are gonna fold this side one centimeter up. So I'm gonna use a ruler for this one just to make sure that I'm really, really accurate. So I'm just going to measure one centimetre here, one centimetre here, and one centimetre here. And then I'm just going to draw the line so I know where I'm going to fold. And I'm going to do this on the other side of the paper as well, so it just makes it really, really clear for me. There we go. And then the other side... I can now fold this up. So just do this very carefully, follow the line that we've just drawn. Again, with everything in origami, just try and make it as accurate as you can, because it just makes our lives a little bit easier when it comes to the end. There we go. So step three, we are now gonna fold this, keeping this side folded up up to about here. This is gonna be the bottom of your envelope. So I've just done it slightly over this halfway mark. And now we are gonna get these sides and fold them in like this, making little triangle shapes. So do it to that side and then to this side. We are really speeding on with this, we're nearly there. So, for this section, we are gonna fold our piece of paper like this. And then we're gonna do it to the other side. The really easy thing about this one is that what you do to one side, you basically do to the other. So again, fold it like so. So, your piece of paper now looks like this. So we've got the two triangles that we folded there and then we folded them, the sides in, to form this kind of shape. So one of the final things to do before we create our envelope is fold these two sides down like this. So some more triangle shapes so that they form a point at the top of your envelope. And then for the finale, we can simply Fold our envelope down like this, tuck it in here. Ta da! We have ourselves a really, really easy, simple, cool little envelope. It's such an easy thing to make and it's so nice and compact. So, once we've folded our envelope, we can now add our design. Today, I think I fancy doing some spots on mine. My colour theme today is green, purple and orange. Right, 
I think I'm done. Now all we need to do is put our envelopes to good use. These DIY envelopes are perfect for handwritten thank you letters or birthday cards. Plus, it makes the card feel even more personal as they're getting something created and designed totally by you. It's actually my friend's birthday next week, so I've written her a little card and I'm going to give this to her next time I see her. So I'm going to tuck it in my envelope. There we go. And finish it off by writing her name wrong. So there we have it, another week, another Green Planet Kids activity. I hope that you enjoyed this one and I will see you next week for more videos. Bye!